So Nikki Bella versus Ronda Rousey is being rumored as the main event of the first ever Divas pay-per-view. And as usual, Smarks are crying. Because whenever Nikki is put in any spot, their immediate reaction is, Why couldn't it have been my favorite Diva instead? I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it. Smarks are just marks with overinflated egos. There is no logic or actual thought process behind any of their opinions. Every one of their opinions can be boiled down to whether they like or dislike someone. It's the whole reason why Smarks hate Roman Reigns. They don't hate him because his bad mic skills or poor work rate or any of that. They hate him because he's in the spot that they wish their favorite wrestler was in. Now, it might seem cliche to dismiss all your haters as just jealous, when your main reason for being angry at someone is because you wish someone else was in their spot, that is the definition of jealousy. Which is why they'll constantly contradict themselves with excuses like, Nikki can't be a top diva because she sucks on the mic, therefore, Bailey should be put in her place instead. So putting aside the fact that Smarks are going to cry about this just because it's Nikki, let's look at the match for what it is. These are two of the biggest stars, not just in the company, but in terms of the mainstream. There are no two bigger names right now. So from that standpoint, this match makes perfect sense. Now as to the complaints about why it couldn't have been somebody else instead of a part-timer, is because the Bellows are part-timers now. This is a special event that is basically designed for Divas of the past to face off against Divas of the present. Ronda Rousey could face off against any other Diva at any other time, whereas Nikki vs. Rousey can't happen anywhere else, which is exactly why it needs to happen here. So Alexa Bliss vs. Trish Stratus has been confirmed for WWE Evolution, and just like with the Nikki Rousey match, you have people that can't seem to understand why WWE would rather put Trish against the closest thing to a Trish Stratus that they currently have, rather than a great wrestler like Tamana. Now, are there better matches that Trish could be in? Of course. There's like 10 dream matches that you could do with Trish Stratus right now. But as of this moment, Alexa is the most appropriate, being as how she's the hottest heel in the company right now, in more ways than one, and she's the only one on the roster right now that has any real momentum. Plus, Trish is more than likely going to win this match anyway, and this likely won't be her last match with the company either, so maybe we will get something like Trish versus Sasha down the road, just so she can stop crying about it online. Well, then again, she just start crying about it in the ring if it does happen, so I'm not sure which is worse. So when Becky won the title at Backlash two years ago, my concern was that she was going to end up like Dean Ambrose. And that's exactly what happened. She became irrelevant, and fans stopped caring her about her as much up until recently, and now she turned heel. And the funny thing about that is that this heel turn might have just made her even more over than she ever has been. Now it's one thing when Smarks cheer heels just for being the heels, but in Becky's case, it's like people are cheering her because they legitimately don't know that she's supposed to be a heel, because they can relate with her reasons for wanting to turn heel. This is kind of like when Daniel Bryan joined the Wyatt family. Nobody booed Daniel Bryan back then because they knew he wasn't really a bad guy. They saw him as more of a frustrated underdog that was sick of being screwed over. And so when he turned to the dark side, that made fans cheer him even more, basically trying to use the power of love to bring him back to his sentence. And I think the same thing is going to end up happening here with Becky. Fans aren't going to stop cheering her, so she can't stay heel for that long. And people are starting to say that if WWE doesn't end up fixing this feud, then fans are going to wind up turning on Charlotte. But the thing is, fans were never behind Charlotte to begin with. No matter how much WWE shoved her down our throats, she never had any actual fans. She is living proof to dispute the argument that Roman Reigns and the Bellas are only over and they only sell so much merchandise because of how overpushed they are. 
Charlotte is still, to this day, not even in the top five bestsellers, just in the Divas division. Point is, fans will never cheer Charlotte over any of their other fan favorites. In fact, we already saw this exact same situation when she feuded with Paige. Fans churned on her as soon as they realized that they never actually liked her that much to begin with because there's nothing to like about her. So, WWE had to do a double churn with them at TLC, despite the fact that they had just churned Paige heel like one month prior. The same thing is going to end up happening here. Charlotte is never truly going to be over as the top face of the division because she never will be the fan favorite of the division. So real quick before I go, I just want to talk about how Dave Meltzer was exposed as a sexist. And it got a decent amount of media coverage, thankfully. But unfortunately, it seems like the buzz has died down. Now, I don't know why, because this is a guy that has consistently slut-shamed and trash-talked Steve's bodies on a daily basis. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the part where we start digging up all of those sexist comments so that we can build pressure on the media to get them taken off the internet. So I hope someone out there is working on putting together a compilation like that. And this is actually for an issue that he deserves to be taken down for, considering he's a big part of the reason why Smarks thought it was okay to disrespect women in wrestling for so long. But that just about does it for this week, or that's all the time that I have to record as I try and rush this return video out as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you very much for watching. This has been MTO with the MTO More Reviews, saying yada yada yada, blah blah blah.